ask me questions, or uh, we can just sit here and listen to music, or we can talk about my shoes, or we can talk about <laughs> Toronto, or whatever you want to talk about. So, question, yes. So, this is my first time to Toronto, Canada. It's my third. I went to Fan I've been to Fan Expo the past two years, and that was rad. I really like Toronto. Unfortunately, and I'm a little ashamed to say, I have yet to eat poutine. I actually had it like Thursday night. It was pretty good. Really? Yeah, call me up there. I didn't just have enough for chili on my eyes. It was great. You're from, where are you from again? Detroit? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, I've never, I mean, in Texas we have poutine, but we call it chili cheese fries. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Chili and cheese, and then jalapenos and onions. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's our poutine, right? So I've been really excited. There's a place in Toronto called Poutini's. Yeah. Has anyone eaten there? Is it legit? It's good. Yeah. And they they do a lot of really crazy things too with it. Really? Like they'll make like cheeseburger one. With stuff would be on a cheeseburger, and they'll just add things like just like bacon. And, you can and always get some bacon. Oh, yeah. You can always get some bacon, especially when you're in Canada. Y'all have bacon with everything, and I respect that. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I, I wanna I wanna eat a poutine. Um, I uh, Toronto is great. How many are, of you are from Toronto proper? Mm -hmm. That's cool. So okay, if I was going, oh there's an old bay back there. If I was gonna go to uh, dinner tonight, my one of my oldest friends, one of my best friends since we were like four, we went to preschool together and have known each other since she was in New York visiting her sister because she's in Texas too, obviously. Um, so she was in New York, and she was like, oh, I'll fly to Toronto and meet you, and I was like, rad! So I tried to take her to like this cool like thing that I saw Anthony Bourdain go to, like this <laughs> underground place called Cold Tea, and we searched for it in this sketchy neighborhood for like an hour until she was finally like, Trina, I, really need to, I need to be somewhere else now. And I was like, well, can't we just give it one more go? Maybe just one more try and walk down one more walks. sketchy, dark alley? Like, what's the big deal? She was like, what's the alley we were in here? Oh, your flashlight is a phone. And I'm, or your phone is a flashlight. <laughs> That's not a safe place to be. I was like, it's totally. All right, we'll just go. Like, so um, I didn't get to see it, but um, there's a place called Beast that's supposed to be delicious. Uh, so we're looking for somewhere to go to dinner. So if you have any suggestions for her first Torontonian experience, or all the good places we know in Toronto aren't like anything Canadian. They're like they're different cultures. Like there's a place downtown we go to recently. It's called Kintan Ramen. I can get by. It's, it's really like they they're really happy people. They all cheer when you come in, and it's <laughs> it's very it's it's like a it's like a Japanese. Um, Ramen bar. Oh, that's you go cool. into. It's it's near Queen's the Dining in Chinatown. Yeah. There's that little Chinese Japanese girl this year, the voice actress. Yeah. Uh, her last name sounds like mine, but it's not. It's uh, I'm Nishimura and she's Nakamura. 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 Yeah. What's what, what's her deal? Is anyone know her deal? Idol master. Yeah. Idol uh, master. Yeah. It's a pop, oh, yeah, yeah. popular. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. I know the role. I'm not cool. We're not cool. <laughs> um, so she sings or she. She sings uh, yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you sing too, right? I mean, I can, mostly. <laughs> That's not it for me. So, uh, no, uh, she's rad. She, uh, I, I, I learned this about myself yesterday during the guest brunch. It's just something that sounds completely counterintuitive and kind of messed up, but I'm terrified of small Japanese girls. <laughs> like, she came up and she was so happy. And she was like, so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. And I was like, Rad, thanks. Nice to meet you too. She's like, I speak, I do speak English. And I was like, I think you're trying to say you don't. And then she was like, I do, I do. And I was like, okay, I don't speak Japanese. And she's like, Nishimura. And I'm like, well, I'm from Texas, so we pronounce it Nishimura. But whatever you want. <laughs>
enough people are like, I want Drayden to come to Fan Expo. And they'll be like, all right, you can call me. And I'll say, okay, I like the raw dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> yeah. Can you talk about working on a science game? Absolutely. What would you like to know? I don't know. Like, what was the experience like? Um, now we're on those oh, sure. Um, so, uh, Steins Gate has been uh, one of my all-time favorites to work on. It was a really fun show. Um, the writing is awesome, uh, and the direction was great. The writing to the direction, the cast. Um, our engineer, Steven, like everything about the show was really awesome. He captured the flag. You know, you know. Uh, that's not to say I'm leaving. That's not to say I'm leaving. I'm just saying, like, it's, it's really gratifying to have that kind of body of work. Uh, and then to top it off with, like, my most recent uh, large role was um, Steins Gate. So it's, it's, it's a really awesome feeling to know that. Um, I was able and lucky enough and blessed enough to be able to work with the people that I worked with and uh, produce what came out of that show. So I love Science Gate. There will always be a super special place in my heart for that show and for that time in my life that I got to work on it. Um, I would love to work on it more uh, if we get the movie, uh, which is yet to be determined. Uh, but if we do, that would be bad. <laughs> because I'd like to reimagine her in, in some way. Um, it was certainly sad. The whole thing was sad. It was an emo a very emotional show for me, and so that was that was rough. But work through it. You got power through. Are you recording this whole thing? Yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel bad. Like I should acknowledge that I'm being recorded, but I never know if you want me to acknowledge or if you want me to just be like, no big deal. I see you over there. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to. Uh, there was last year at. Um, at this, no, not this con, at Fan Expo, I think it was Fan Expo. I can't remember where it was. But um, I didn't realize, somebody asked me for my most embarrassing story, and then I, did, I started telling it, and I didn't realize that they were recording it. I was like, are you recording this right now? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, you asked for my most embarrassing story, and you can put it on the internet? That's mean. Um, so I, I don't know. That's, that's it's not even here. But, um, so yeah, Steins Gate. Also, I'm bringing Brad back. Um, I'm really excited about it. Jamie started, Jamie Murphy, one of my best friends, has started saying it now. Rita Palencia is also one of my best friends, and she's like coming over to the dark side of Rad. I feel like Rad needs to be in the vernacular again. And then once Rad is up there, I'm going to bring back Bodacious. Who else has said Bodacious? Gnarly. Like, remember Gnarly. the 80s words? Cowabunga? Like, it's tubular. Copacetic. 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 But I'm thinking more like the. In Super Mario Brothers, when you go to like the secret world, and then it's like on this little star thing, and then you go to this little star, and like each one is like tubular, bodacious, fantastic. It's not fantastic, but you get what I mean. Yeah. Uh, so they're all like words that Bart Simpson would have said like back in the day, you know? That he doesn't say anymore. Right? You remember? Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yes. Um, when you were recording as Long Pond and FMA World Quick, was there any parts that were really rough to record or really exciting to record? Um, yeah, um, the scene where I cut my arm off was rad. That one was awesome. Um, because like, like the intensity of it, and I'm like, ah, oh, I have to save my boyfriend, I mean my king, so I'm gonna cut off my arm. And then when he's like, when I'm in the bed, I'm like dying, and they just, I don't have an arm. And, I mean, you're like, yeah, and it does the whole thing. But like, like, I don't have an arm and you don't even love me. This is horrible. <laughs> and uh, that, that was fun. It, it's a fun show. Like it was, it wasn't, um, it was more, I guess it was like being like tough. Because uh, for some reason I've been, uh, especially over the past few years, like I've been getting kind of the same roles. So, well, as far as range goes, so there's like super happy girl. And then there's like, um, like business, right? Uh, which is what all the directors call it. They're like, we need the business, because it's Nishima, you know? <laughs> business, Nishima. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> we need the business. And so the business is like like hardcore, like this is what's going to happen, and da 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 da, you know, um, which is totally like me. Uh, <laughs> the business. So the business comes in and is like super hardcore, but then I've never had a business that was like also in love, and that was like the whole. Uh, momentum and motivation behind the character was this love of country and this love of people and uh, an underlying love for pot happening.
rapper porn. Like, that's weird. <laughs> I mean, I get it, I get it. He's a good looking guy, and he's rad, he's a friend of mine, and he's awesome, but like, some girls go crazy for Todd. Crazy! Oh, he was actually, I was with Todd in, it was in Canada, it was in Alberta? Edmonton, Edmonton. We were in Edmonton and um, we had just left a panel and that's the first time my life has ever been threatened by a fan. And I, oh. I was with, yeah, I was with Todd and there are these people like following us and we had refused um, a liaison or security because we were just gonna go straight to the van and off to dinner. And so like we just finished and he and I are like walking and talking. There's like a little, you know, swarm of girls that are following us, which is normal for Todd, you know. I'm like, hey guys, like, what's up? And so um, this, Girl. So you're fine. Come on in. You're fine. So um, this this kid and I don't remember if it was a boy or a girl, but this kid starts screaming at us to stop. He's like, stop, stop. I want to talk to you. Stop. And Todd's like, keep walking. Just keep walking. I was like, no, we're gonna turn. It's fine. What's gonna happen? <laughs> He's like, no, I don't think this is a safe time right now. I was like, no, it's fine. I'm sure you'll be fine with your little whatever. So like. We turn around, or I turn around and stop, and so Todd has to stop. And so I'm like, hey, how's it going? You know, like, what, what's going on? Like, <laughs> what, what do you have to say? What's, what's up? We stop, you know? Um, and this chick, it was a chick, it was like a pretty big chick. Uh, like, uh, like, like, you know, like the volleyball girls in high school that you're kind of afraid of, but you don't want to show fear. <laughs> you're in the locker next to you, and you're like, hi, it's really good to see you here in my science notes. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, uh, you sound like you might have a story to tell us. No big deal. <laughs> she was really nice to me. Um, so, uh, oh, so this, this big girl, and she, um, she like looked down at me, and she was like, I'm really mad at you guys. And I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I don't know why. Because we had just finished the panel and it was super packed and we had limited time and we didn't get to answer everyone's questions. And so I guess she had had her hand up. She was like, you didn't call on me. And I was like, well, I'm sorry. You know, like, we, we were really busy and we had a lot of people. Like, is there something that you'd like to ask now? And she's like, now? And I was like, yeah, like, you can, you can ask it. We're both here. Like, if you want to ask a question, you can ask now. And she was like, I don't remember. And I was like, oh. Well, I'm sorry. We're gonna go to dinner now. So, um, <laughs> like, like, she's like, kind of getting like angsty and like in my space. And then she's like, "You don't even understand." And I was like, "I guess I don't." And, <laughs> and Todd, like at this point, because she's raising her voice, and like obviously, like I'm starting to be like, "I don't know." So Todd comes over. And he's like, "What's going on?" And she's like, "I'm gonna kill you both." And he was like, "What?" Uh, and I was like, "She's kidding. We have to go." Like, <laughs> That is inappropriate, like, inappropriate, unacceptable. You can't talk like that. She's like, you need to answer my question. And I'm like, we need to go. And, it's like, <laughs> and he's like, this cannot happen. Like, he like steps in between us and like, I was like, we shouldn't have stopped. We shouldn't have stopped. I just, uh, we shouldn't have stopped. And Tom's like, I told you. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the time. Is that your question? <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs>